it's an hour later, and welcome to Alien Sub with me, Alien, along with the Fearsome Drakir. And welcome to the first episode of the final Dark Side Dark Siders game, not Dark Siders Gate. <laughs> uh, Dark Siders Genesis. And well, uh, correction, the current final one. Yep, at the moment. There, to my knowledge, there is no word yet of a Darksiders 4 or 5. Technically, this would count as 4 at the moment, but it's not numbered like the others. So I'm presuming when they eventually do uh, the conclusion of the series, it, they'll probably call it Darksiders 4. Yeah, time will tell. And yeah, this one starts off pretty uh, differently. For one, we have well, multiple save files, and we also have uh, that little name and number in the upper right corner because this game can be played multiplayer. Nice. Though yeah. we uh, sadly won't be doing that this time. So, yeah. yeah. I had to ask, are we going to watch the intro trailer thing? I'm uh, not sure where that can be seen, but it, it, I do want to show that off. It's just... Uh, uh, one annoying thing is that we apparently can't skip it. So, yeah, that is a nuisance. Uh, I don't think it'll well, be it somewhere in here. Yeah, it gives a good show of uh, who Strife is. Because, well, uh, from what I remember, or from what little that I know, because I never played this game before, only I tested it to see if it worked with OBS, you can play as multiple of the horsemen, of certain, you can play as Strife and War. I'm not sure if we can play as the other two. So, is this the... No, that's that's just straight up the credits. Yeah, the, only these two as far as I know. For I heard when people, uh, when they came out, people were saying you could play all of them. Then later when you investigated, it was only these two. I felt like, really? Two does uh, not make four. There we go. At least that gave us the start screen again um yeah hopefully it'll show that that it, hopefully it'll show that trailer again now when we start up because it is pretty fun <laughs> but yeah other than that we'd have to <laughs> restart the game actually let's just do that right now just in case because it is just fun yeah i i, I showed that to, to hilian uh, actually of the last stream of the last Blood Talk size, uh, ga uh, their game actually made Hillian watch it and he loved it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First time I watched it, I was, I was almost crying to tears. Okay, OBS, catch it please before this starts. There we go. Uh, and okay. yeah, like with the previous games, I'll be using a controller, or at least I'll try to. Yes, this is a twin stick shooter. Slash brawler. Screen share, please. Um, yeah, and I need to have the game selected to actually hear everything as well. Look who it is. Strife. You know who I am? Yeah. I met your sister once. She was a lot bigger than you. <laughs> but not as pretty. <laughs> what do you want, little horse man? <clears throat> Malgros the Defiler. For conspiring with Lucifer, committing countless crimes against all of creation, and by order of the Council, I hereby sentence you to death. <laughs> <laughs> you come into my place alone. I threaten me? I think you're just walking out of here. It, it does sound funny hearing you say it. I'm gonna count to three. If you're still standing here, I'm gonna defile your corpse in ways you can't possibly imagine. Feed what's left to my boys. Horse meets their favorites. One. Two, three. Horse meets 
Sorry. We're in a hurry. I think that says plenty about how Strife is. Yeah, I just noticed something. The game trailer here has different music compared to the yeah. announcement trailer on YouTube. Yeah, weren't those the same, the gameplay and no, actually, actually, I don't know if I saw a gameplay trailer. Uh, oh, hmm. wait, no, no gameplay, like the announcement trailer, I mean. Yeah. They played this yeah. up, but they had another. I think they had another music tune. To, maybe they switch it out for the game to for the new people who stream this, and what letting us avoid getting copyright striked, perhaps. Maybe, or maybe they just yeah found a different song or something. Either way, let's get started. And yeah, we started a bit later today due to delays. Uh, this time, not stream related. I actually did manage to prepare for the stream this time. But yeah, timer is running. So let's see. See, the war for Eden has ended. The Nephilim, a natural spawn of angel and demon, sought to claim the paradise for their own, but they were ultimately slaughtered by four of their own. Chosen to stand against their brothers and sisters by the council, the horsemen were granted great power to preserve the balance. Now Eden is a tomb and the fledgling humans have been relocated to begin a... Oh, oh, hello! No, oh, no, 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 the fledgling humans. The horsemen have returned to the council to await their mission. Yeah, once more, this game takes place in front of all the others. And there was a flash of something there for a moment. Do not mourn. Do not doubt. Your actions in Eden were tragic, but necessary. Eden was intended for humanity, not the Nephilim. It was a great victory for the balance. For you, horseman. Victory. Okay, they look cool like that. Where are death and fury? It matters not. Your purpose lies elsewhere. Lucifer, lord of all hells, yet plots humanity's downfall. Weak though they may seem, these fledgling creatures are integral to the balance. We believe the demon Samael, lord of Blackstone Keep, conspires with Lucifer. Seek out Samael. Unravel this plot. Serve the balance. Show them the price of defying the council. Okay. Samael's fortress is under attack. Uh, yeah, I think this might. I think this feels a bit like a you know, part like a retcon, or maybe we'll find out more about this uh, later. Because uh, yeah, at the time of Darksiders One, it was the Destroyer who was supposedly the uh, Lord of All Hell. But maybe, uh, maybe Lucifer has another role in this one. Yeah, but uh, small spoiler for the uh, after you know, credit stuff, or is it after for the? Uh, after scenes of uh, the game and uh, the other Dark Souls games, the one the, the voice in the dark is actually Lucifer. So, yeah, wait, what could have mentioned that? Yeah, his enemies are many, but few could muster the forces to attack him directly. Well, guess it's not going to be an in and out conversation, then. not like. 
One thing's for sure, we aren't using the front door. Let's get closer and see what we find. And Ooh, let us dear. and let us find out how well the game runs like this. Okay, 100 frames per second. I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and before I forget, unless I somehow zoomed out during the trailer we was earlier with the where we both loved, looks like the, the original is on for a while. The front walls still hold. Samael's forces will be drawn there, weakening his defenses elsewhere. Wait, wait. Are you suggesting we sneak in? Good call. But that doesn't sound like <laughs> it's strategic. Right. Okay, uh, you were saying? Saying the version I showed Hillian had a bit more of a music that gave uh, this game a bit more Guardian Galaxy feel. Yeah. It ate this music. It was so spot on in giving the mood for this game. Uh, but yeah, war being strategic, uh, that's a surprise. Let's see. Well, it does make sense. Okay, that's to summon other players, and that we don't have other players. So yeah, we're riding solo. Figuratively and literally. Okay. Not correct. Now uh, you're still you're here, but you're not uh, in the game itself. Oh, uh. I didn't mean I didn't mean myself. <laughs> okay, simple axe attack. Okay, uh, what's this purple? It's... Okay, mysterious object. A mysterious object dropped from a fallen enemy. It pulls with energy. Okay. Hmm. Oh. And it seems it's dropping from other stuff that we break at random as well. Okay. Are those imps? From the looks of it. Okay. Um, there's Are something we seeing there. our first imps in this game series? Boatman coin. Boatman coin. Yeah. Um, we might... Yeah, the, the screen is a bit... Well, the screen is a bit small for all of us, except if someone is watching this full screen. Uh, which you probably are. <laughs> uh, you're, you've got a better view of things than, than me. Okay. Melee. Ranged. And let's see. We've got potions on the down... Yeah. <clears throat> on the down button. And... Nope. Let's see. Okay. And then we have... Okay, I can't use it at the moment, whatever that grasping claw is. Okay. Uh, defeat the flea max shirking their duty in the throne. <laughs> okay. So that's what they're called. <laughs> Flea mags. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course, the horse can't climb, but we can. Uh, double jump, then glide. Okay. He's starting off with this right away. And what is this then? Checkpoints? No, it's a map. Okay. Uh, also, as might be clear, I've made a small change to the chat above me to, well, make it a bit more... <laughs> to make it a bit more fitting than just a, a big white box to, well, keep the chat contained. There we go. How's the controls? So far, so good, I'd say. Probably a lot better if I'd chosen to uh, go with <laughs> mouse and keyboard, because I, I saw the controls for that uh, in the options, and, well, they looked all over the place. Yeah, as it, you probably see why I skipped Yoni on this one, for there was some things I sort of wonder, would I really be able to handle these kind of games at this hour? 
Yeah, uh, yeah, these... It's being easy so far. It hasn't really given us an... Oh. Horse wards, okay. Yeah, uh, it might look like it plays like Diablo, but it doesn't. I already knew that it would play. A bit differently from Diablo from several aspects, like... Yeah, you don't have really jump options and yep. wall climbing as the Diablo. <laughs> Okay, come on. <laughs> that wow. was almost completely obscured. Uh, I saw what you is... did. I think you jumped on his head. Yeah. <laughs> but still, I prefer to have uh, <laughs> been preferred if we could have seen all of that. No. What do we have around here? Can't go up that. Um, no clue what those purple boxes are, but I'm presuming they're something. And okay, this. Hmm. Do we need to? No, it looks like these are already pulled down. Okay, we can see that war is selectable, but they haven't told us how. Oh. It says so in the lower right. Switch character, left button, and A. Okay, but are they... Is that going to keep them hanging here? No. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Pardon? Sneeze coming? No worries. And I wonder, should, are you supposed to hit the box? Uh, this purple skull thing? No, we just crack it open. Let's see. Earth Splitter. Hold Y to charge up and release a wave of energy forward cutting through the ground and any enemies in, it, in its path. Higher charge levels will travel further and deal increased damage. Passive has a chance on any Chaos Eater attack to deal damage and knock an enemy down. Attack power is permanently increased for each enchantment acquired. Okay. Oh, horsemen ride together. Strife, agile and equipped to control the battlefield from a distance with his trusty pistols, mercy and redemption. War upholds his duty by going into the thick of battle and dominating from within uh, with the Chaos Eater. Switch between Strife and War at any time. Yeah, we already figured that out. Let's see. Strive and War can uh, discover new ammo types and enhancements over the course of their mission. Each can greatly affect their capabilities in battle <clears throat> and give them the upper hand. Equip ammo and enhancements at any time. Okay, left button and rotate. Strive and War will build up their wrath meters during combat by collecting wrath souls. Each horseman has their own unique set of wrath, uh, wrath abilities that can deal damage and provide crowd control. Uh, also left mouse button and X, Y, and B. Okay. And right, yeah. Some action already. A simple warm up. Let's stay mostly with Strife. Since, well, <laughs> this is the only game so far that he's shown up in. Okay. Left trigger is dodge. Okay, let's get a show on this one. <laughs> yeah. Oop. Oop. Okay, already the game is not screwing around. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Strive. Okay. Not a mysterious object. Good music so far. Oh yeah, the music is awesome. Okay. But yeah, I think now you can see why I declined here for... Yeah, you, you know with my medication uh, how my medication's effect runs a bit more dry towards these hours. Yeah. This would get way too cha chaotic for you eventually. <laughs> yeah, like, if it had been more Diablo-like, without these switches and wall climbs and such, I'd maybe have a bit better chance, but as quick as saw those, I felt like... With dark side difficulty, with that, I gonna be a drag to have behind you. And it would make commentating and talking way harder. Yeah. 
Okay. It might be. Well, I feel like I could have fun, but I had to do a sacrifice here. Uh, yeah. For the sake of a smooth stream and my own sanity. And it seems and alien sanity. Nope, nope, but nope, that was a <laughs> big. That was a big dodge. <laughs> Holy. Okay, whenever we fill that bar, we basically go berserk. Okay. Hello. Big ass chest. Been a while since we've seen oh. those. Okay, I was wondering, why is it so like a machine gun almost? There it is. It's the way he repeatedly shoots each pistol off each other. <laughs> Another coin. Yeah. I don't want to climb back up. Well, this is one of the... Just like that? <laughs> yeah, this is one of the moves I just felt. Nope. I saw, I saw, watch it on YouTube a little bit. Yeah, no horsey. And these things again. Oh, hello, hellhounds. Ooh. Yeah, wrong button. Okay, and that was the test, so now they're probably going to throw more at us. Yep. Okay. Just keep circling, and we should be good for most of this. And if they get too close, well, we have more than just guns. Yeah, you're about to get destroyed. Bad dog, bad dogs, bad dogs. There we go. I can't tell if he decapitates them with his guns or with blades. Or I'm that he's sure doubling up. Sure, for a moment there. <laughs> okay, now we can just shoot these things in the eye. I don't like it. Nor do I. Perhaps the council trusts will make do. Or the testing us. Still. Mm. We're bound now as enforcers of the balance. Test or not, we follow orders. Hey, I know what I signed up for. I'm just saying. But now our concern is with Samaya. If he's still alive. I guarantee whoever's attacking Sammy is underestimated. We won't. <laughs> Okay, I, I am curious what the, hell, what the hell is going on with uh, this infighting. Yeah, the demon infighting is not unheard of. Yeah, but someone is being very ballsy to be going after Samael of, this, of all people, of all demons. Okay. No need to go after those hellhounds. And that's another slacker, though we've probably missed one or two by now. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're not completionists. We're, yeah, story completionists. Uh, okay, almost fell back. <laughs> yeah, we did miss one boss at the last game. Yeah, we did miss. Oh, we did miss a bit. Uh, from uh, Dark Status 3. Uh, I don't know the specifics, but likely if we had kept exploring uh, the serp the pathways in the serpent holes, we probably would have ended up meeting the uh, the King of Hollows again, uh, which would have led to a well a boss fight. And depending on the choice that we'd make there, we'd get an We'd get an extra, well, we get extra lore, which uh, would be very spoilery to say here. So, uh, if you do want to know that, you can look up TV tropes. You can look them up on TV tropes because practically everything on his, what is on him, is uh, spoilered. Um, and yeah, it would have added a little bit extra to the uh, <clears throat> to the credits, but uh, nothing uh, too extremely major. So, were we supposed to yes, go I here? Yes, I have to look that up at a later point. At least since we finished that game, I should be able to watch that uh, some uh, 
lower now. Yeah. At least, at least of the ones we missed. And it, it from what uh, from what else I saw, there aren't really uh, other optional boss fights. Oh, hello. These little gremlins and demons clipping through the bow. <laughs> I was about to ask. <laughs> Oh, there goes the bridge. Demon bridge is falling down, falling down. Demon bridge is falling oh. down. I thought we killed that one but in the middle of the other execution. All right. Uh, yep. Those explode and leave behind a good amount of bits. I thought you were supposed to break it, but use it. I think you, you're probably not supposed to break it. Let's find out. <laughs> if we're going to end up launching ourselves. Okay, yeah, it's a break. Where is it? Don't tell me we actually have to jump into this thing or something. There we go. This is now destroy the ballistas bombarding Blackstone Keep. One of two. Um, that actually means that we'll have to backtrack. Okay. One. And I think I see the other one all the way across the canyon. Or whatever you would call this, a gorge. Oh, your sense of what I need to learn there. What's the difference between a canyon and a gorge? Like, I heard a gorge many times before. And I have a good idea what canyon is, but... A gorgeous? Yeah, I gonna need to learn what the learn those. Okay, we've completed that thing. Another mysterious object. Uh, uh, these things are going to be some sort of lore drops or something. Maybe Hopefully. enhancers. Hmm. Okay, easy enough with these little gremlins. Bad dog, bad dog. Here we go. You think about it, even in games, Indian gets still get chased by dogs. <laughs> Let's see. Right trigger when in range of a ghost took to grab and zip from it. Okay. Wait, did we just punt that one instead of shooting it in the face? I'm not sure. I didn't get time to register it, but it just happened. Okay. Ah, oh. Okay, I think he just shot them in the mouth like the rest. Let's see. Now we already had that one. If you're not afraid, then why is the bridge up? Let's see, anything over this way? Yes, there is. Okay. And a bit of a view. Hmm. All right. There we go. It's five. Oh, okay, now, okay. now I know you can fall and die, then definitely good I did not do this. For those is... things at this hour, or I will go insane. Okay, discover an alternative route. Hmm. Yeah, I think you may need to use war on some things. Uh, we'll have to see. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll try to. I'll try to primarily. Use, oh wait, those those are the bomb things which we've been using throughout the entire series. 
Finally, they're being used against us. Okay. So, Strife's first Wrath ability is a, a movement that deals damage at the end. Is, is there ba basically a roll or a, some sort of strike? I can't really tell from this distance. But what I can tell is that we're getting our ass kicked. Switch to war! Okay. And let's see how you finish some of these. I think getting the extra healing of fire will heal strive. Or I could be wrong to you know, one way to find out. I presume we'll oh, just heal. heal ourselves. Yeah, though they didn't heal much to begin with, so so much for the experiment. Yeah, I didn't use the, uh, the little bits. Uh, I, I thought you were talking about the, po uh, the potion. No, no, no. I meant uh, the ones on the floor. Okay. Charge shots. Fire a strong piercing bullet. Can be charged up to three levels for increased firepower. Hot streak. Fire as fully... It <clears throat> fires fully charged shot instantly. Passive high attack power is pound. Okay, we didn't approve. If we didn't equip these things. Uh, let's see. Left button and yeah, right stick. Okay, right trigger to equip. Right bumper to... Uh, four seconds equip, okay. That's... All right. Uh... Let's see. Also, I recognized uh, the voice actor, uh, the voice of this voice actor for Strife, but I don't know the name. Uh, Phil Lamar. Ooh. Okay, can you tell me which characters he has been voicing in the in other games? Uh, not sure, actually. <laughs> oh, damn it! Okay. But I feel uh, like I heard him in many and anim many animations and uh, games. I do recognize uh, do the name, but I don't know where from. <laughs> Except for Strife here. Oh, hello. Yeah, the only thing I do know is. Uh, from, I remember I usually enjoy his voice acting. He has, he has been very much quite a solid one. Okay. More boat coins. Uh, is something hidden here? Yes, there is. He almost fell down. And again, we could have reached that normally as well. Okay, just for having that, we deal more damage now with our shots. And I presume that uh -oh. War has the same with his here. Yeah, looks like it. The Chaos, uh, <clears throat> Chaos Eater is also glowing green, or has a green element to it now. So that is what that is. Hot streak. Wait. Okay. Oh, come on. I, I pressed the freaking button before that. Okay. Hot streak gives extra stuff. Depending on what ammo you have. Another one of these. Hmm. certainly knows how to make an impression. How much you think those big old lava towers cost? I'd like to get some from my place. Do we even have a place <laughs> besides I whatever rock the council lets you sleep on? Keep. The interactions. <laughs> Another slacker. Oh, hell. How are we supposed to get that? Hmm. Wait, can he jump towards it? 
And we have a double jump. Oh, here goes nothing. Nope. We got one of them. And what are these? Hello? Oh. He doesn't have a muscle, but this smells like him. Question is, why? Hell is a pit of vipers. Do demon lords need a reason to wage war with one another? Good point. Guess not, but someone got bold. They will provide entertainment on our way to Samael. You better have something interesting to tell us, or the council is going to be pissed. If we don't keep moving, we'll be questioning a corpse. This assault is fierce. Hurrying for his sake? How annoying. <laughs> Okay, so we'll be getting info bits if we find outlooks like that. Uh, okay, that's a lot of goodies. Ilya's favorite! Shinies! <laughs> okay, and the, the potion charges we need to pick up manually. So let's go back on the horse and make our way forwards, of course. Well, uh, what? His horse name. I haven't been told yet. Way up onto the outer wall. For climbing. Ever consider wearing some lighter gear? Alright. Here we go. Basic stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm so glad I'm not playing this. I could handle almost die to a degree, but this. Oh, I hate jumping puzzles. And it's likely to get even tougher as the game goes, of course. Yeah, when you made someone and complaining, I'm not really alone. But I just admit my limits. Yeah. Okay. Let's not miss this because it looks rather odd from this angle. But yeah, now we have the basic shot and and also this charge shot. Okay. There's some power in those. Yep. Okay, and the purple th boxes are ammo for whatever the well, depletable ammo we have. <laughs> okay, deal with these. Okay, and the hell is going on with all the wood? Oh. Okay, deal with this one. <laughs> and we just jump over his back. Okay, so the charge shot is going to be good for crowd control. While the, the normal shot is going to be just general stuff, I presume. And there we go. The mysterious object. Hmm. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> I thought they were all dead. He's gonna fire. Okay, heal up as much as we can and open this door. Uh, don't forget the purple stuff. Or what are the purple stuff again? Ammo. Mm -hmm. Ammo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, then they have some uh, a bit far back there. Not too far from you. Uh. Hmm. A bit, I'm a bit split on why it uh, gives a pause when it, you enter yeah, that mode. 
Because it does mean that you have to repress the button again. A fog door, really? Are we going <laughs> stealing something from Dark Souls again? Okay, way too small. Hmm. Yeah, I'll need to I'll need to start keeping back a track of the environment between me and the cursor. Okay, I thought he was just swiping, not actually throwing something. Um, okay, just keep firing. Okay, apparently we shoot fast enough to push ourselves off the edge. Uh, oh, wait, wait, is it from the hollows? Uh, this guy is not... Uh, from the hollows, I'd say. This is a full-on demon. Oh, minions, I missed. Easy enough to, uh, yeah. Easy enough to dodge. Just move out from where it was aiming. Okay, you can just dash through those with enough timing. Okay, come on. Let's heal up. There we go. Yeah, another mysterious object. Probably some sort of soul shards or something for a collection. Do you skip ammo there? Either way, time to make a house call. Neither of these two are experienced doctors. Okay, I, I don't know why, but it feels like my eyes are starting to tire a lot earlier this time. Hmm. Uh, do we even have a map or anything? Yeah, I think my myself being a bit... Uh, man, I'm not tired right now, but I had gotten a bit more tired earlier. Probably due to uh, my body's probably preparing for hmm. my summertime uh, sleep. With that, I mean, okay. I go to bed one hour earlier. I wake up one hour early as well, due to it. Just due to the damn morning light and seagulls. <laughs> okay, what have we here? That pretentious can only lead to our boy Sam I.L. Sneaking in was a good idea. We didn't sneak. We made a strategic approach. And still killed plenty along the way. <laughs> Fair. Perhaps I was foolish in not accepting his offer. My lord, the council! Guess you didn't hear us knocking. Ah, horseman. What brings the loyal servants of the council to my door? The council believes you scheme with Lucifer against humanity. Against the balance. Do you deny it? Horseman. Such base villainy is beneath me. 
I admit, I am intrigued by your accusation. Unfortunately, I find myself a bit under siege at the moment. By Moloch? How'd you manage to let a bottom feeder like that get the upper hand? No offense. An excellent question. I could venture a guess. I told you this day would come, Samael. I, Moloch, have come to claim your head and your kingdom. Go. Find my associate within the void. We will continue our discussion after I drive my sword through Moloch's skull. Perhaps then we will have an answer to your question. Okay, so he is not the conspirator. Also, I know the voice actor of that other one, but I can't remember his name, even though he played he played himself in Saints Row 4. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, they, they literally just had him playing a character Samuel with the same <laughs> name and such. Let's discover why. Hmm. Actually. So, into the void once more. Yeah, he also voiced uh, Captain Anderson in Mass Effect, if I am correct about it being them. So there's always okay. a good chance that I'm wrong with that. Okay, no bridge this time. Hmm. Okay, just a decoration. Um, oh, hello. We know these plenty well. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> and it's a Vorpal Blades. Can be charged and thrown at multiple targets, including enemies. Uh, wall switches and obje ob the objects in the environment, such as torches or and bomb growth. Longer charge uh, times will cause the Vorpal Blade to hit multiple enemies multiple times. Hitting a flame will transfer the flame to subsequent targets. All right. Mm. Each horseman can discover and utilize special gear items that can be used to solve puzzles, open new areas, and provide additional benefits in combat. Okay. Oh, so use gear. Uh, so for strife, we push in the right thumbstick. And for war, we pull the right trigger. Let's see. Equip your Vorpal Blade. You can also hold up to open the uh, gear radio menu. Men the radio menu. Move the stick to aim. Right trigger to throw. Vorpal Blade can be used to attack enemies and activate wall switches. Okay. Right trigger holds to charge. Release the throw. Okay. They really like their giant circle like weapons in this game this game series. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Yeah Did Death even have one? Uh, no, he had the pistol. No, we need it. Yeah? Then just what is it? Allow me to demonstrate. If you're done showing off, Samael's associate awaits. <laughs> you almost sound jealous. <laughs> All right. Charge the Vorpal Blade. Okay. No, wrong power. Okay, that keeps it running a bit longer, and that was actually bad because, yep, I thought it was lower. There we go. Lock on to targets while aiming with the Vorpal Blade with left trigger and press right trigger to throw. Um, uh, what do I need to lock on to? The statue? Fire? Uh, 
Okay, yeah, because it, it carries over flame. Okay, yeah, there's one more then. Okay. This time it doesn't tell you if uh, what you're aiming for will actually be locked on or is if it is of importance. Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, a serpent hole. I should have known. You're familiar with these? Unfortunately, yeah. They belong to a guy I've heard of. <laughs> Volgrim. Must be the associate Samaya was talking about. Which explains things. Can he be trusted? Uh, only as far as uh, you'll throw your coin at him. Absolutely not. In no way possible. But I don't see another way out of here. So what are we waiting for? Let's hop in. Is it our only option? We could just wait right here? Mm. Forever? After you. <laughs> uh, okay, hold to enter the void. Uh, we are already in the void. Dethrone, chapter complete. Having escaped the seeds of Blackstone Keep, the horsemen make their way you know, through the void to meet Samuel's, uh, Samuel's associate. I'm going to keep messing up his name in nearly every game, huh? or every game that he shows, or is suspected to show. I was expecting Samael, but horsemen? Things are getting interesting. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Dark Souls game without Volgrim, huh? Yeah, wait. Oh yeah, he was in the second game, wasn't he? Yep. Okay. So this is your little how yeah, your little hidey hole for when you're not playing go for her. Hey, Volgrim, right? The soul leader? Dig the nickname. Strive. Like me, your reputation precedes you. Have you brought me any delicious morsels on which to feast? Maybe those of your brethren. Okay, he looks pretty awesome when drawn like this. Holy crap! <laughs> Mind your tongue, wretch, before I cut it out. Our work doesn't concern you. Oh, but it must. Why else would you be here? You were cast here by Samael. Maybe it was to bring him your head. <laughs> Careful, horseman. Show the right temperament and I can be of service to you. But you must first be of service to me. The council does not negotiate with demons. Defy them and there will be a price. <laughs> The council has no power here. This realm is mine, and therefore subject to my rules. Killing me would prove tragic, as you would be trapped in the void for eternity. Now do I have your attention? Hmm, does he mean that... Okay, I very much doubt that he created the void, but probably just that he just moved in. That will have... he understands how it works. Patience isn't my brother's thing. Or mine, now that I think about it. So get to the point. The Lords of Hell are forever in conflict. They seek power, control. Lucifer and Samael most of all. You are here because Lucifer attempts something unexpected. He now extends a hand to his enemies, offering something very desirable in exchange for their cooperation. But he's... he's offering... he's willing to... he's offering to cooperate with heaven. That's ballsy for the lord of all demons. If he means angels, you could just mean other rival demons, but... Yeah. Do wait. In Bible, Lucifer is. 
Right, I was just saying. In Bible, Lucifer is a fallen angel. Yep. Hmm, I wonder how they made Lucifer here now. Go on. <laughs> Nothing in this world is without cost. If you wish to know more, we must enter into an agreement. A precious artifact has been stolen from me. I sought Samael's assistance in the matter, but perhaps you could recover it. That's all the info you're giving us. Go get an artifact. What the hell makes it so important? It's complicated. Some sort of soul jar. At this point, I'd rather kill you than help you. Counts will be damned. <laughs> okay, <laughs> blunt. That would profit neither of us. It'll be worth your while. I give you my word. Oh, your word. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> we'll do it. You can't be serious. Look at where we are. If you have a better idea, I'm all ears. I will provide a serpent hole for travel. And do be careful. The keeper of my artifact will be less than pleased to see you. No one is ever pleased to see us. That's kind of the idea. <laughs> he has a point. By the way, I think this will be of interest to you. I acquire them from time to time. They're yours. For the right price, of course. What do you have? Let's see. Show it. additional buttons. Uh, okay, I I think that meant to just keep the controls in the corner. Up. Uh, oh, yeah. Is that draining anything? I I can't tell if it is. You know what are you doing? It's pixelating like mad. <laughs> Uh, maybe you should adjust the Discord quality on my uh, for me, so it's at least 60 FPS. For I start to wonder if the FPS on Discord has trouble keeping up. Okay. Um, I'll put it to 60 FPS at 720 for now, but I believe that led to stuttering uh, with some games. So just say if it runs better or not. If it doesn't run better, I'll have to lower the quality to 480. Which would, would look rather bad on its own as well. Okay. Now where did he open that serpent hole? I'm guessing here. Oh, yeah. The slag pit. The powerful demon has stolen an important artifact from Volgrim. The horseman must travel to his dungeon to recover it. There's ten boatman coins. There's four upgrades to be found. Three trickster key door, uh, trickster keys, and a trickster door. Okay, and 120 power recommended. Okay, I hope that doesn't mean that we're going to have to grind at some point to get strong enough for the next mission. Screams of suffering, cages. Yep. We're definitely in a dungeon. Let us find Vulgrim's troubling demon and pry the artifact from its dead hands. <laughs> okay, now you're getting me excited. Okay. Hmm. And we need a key for that. Oh, hello. Uh, there we go. Same as usual. Um, okay, immediately a bunch of fire gremlins. Oh, a bunch of uh, suiciding <laughs> lava gremlins. Okay. Okay, he's an okay, he will adjust his aim to a certain angle. He will not always aim down. Take that. Hmm. Uh, how's the quality on your end? Mm. Yeah, I think it was better before. Uh, 
Or apparently this made the pixel squares bigger for some reason. Okay. Screen quality 480 at 60. Let's see if this does better. Oh, hello, there's a key. Okay, this is worse. For now, it's impossible to read. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, let's go back to the one we had at the start of the stream. Yeah. At least I could re it read on occasion. <laughs> For it gets pixelated when a lot of things happening. Oh, and oh, hello. Okay, so Strife is out, but he's on a timer. All right. Uh, War just kicks these guys in the nuts and then cuts them in half. Oh, okay. It fixes a little bit. At least I can read things now. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I still need probably a bit of internet. So it could be a community show. I need better internet and, well, these could still need to do elbow raising. Yeah, that and, well, all of the stuff running on this computer is taking a bit of the uh, processing power, as in it's completely maxed out. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that probably... Nope. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay, just simple and to the point. And you little shits, get gone. There we go. Slag flea. Uh, flea mag explosives have a 25% chance to not interrupt players. Okay, so that's why we'd want to correct, collect these things. They'll give us bonuses. Uh, I'm going to tell you something that may surprise you. Hmm? Are, uh, are you... Sitting down, down, by the way. Hey, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sitting behind my desk. That's the whole point of this. From here? Is that a serious question? But I think flea mag is a pun. No. Flea bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. You know, if Lucifer is as dangerous as the council says he is. Why they send just the two of us? Yeah, where are the other two? Death and fury attend to other matters. It is not our place to question the will of the council. It's not my place to question your wardrobe, but I still think your armor could use some more creepy faces on it. <laughs> just drive. Must everything be a joke to you? The council. You really need to lighten up. The council this and the council that. You want to hear an actual joke? No. Knock, knock. <laughs> <clears throat> You're supposed to say, who's there? Uh. Why would I give away my location? I would simply smash through the door and face my assailant. <laughs> uh, war being the comically serious again. Uh, you're hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've seen this hey. from cuts from screenshots. Think that's Volgrim's artifact? These glyphs indicate some kind of locking mechanism. It seems our mission is more difficult than we thought. When is it ever easy? I like these two's banter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using tell right, I hope banter. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good, good. I mean, that's Let's probably the first time we used the term. Okay. okay. And, yeah, okay, I see that definitely has a bit of a glow to it from that enhancement. Now, what is this? Okay, again, the map. Wait, which, for some reason, they're put up on, on display. Do you say KFC? Grant? Do you uh, say KFC? Uh, if I did, not intentional at the very least. Yeah, for sure, what does Kentucky Fried Chicken, hey, chicken has anything to do with this game? Well, uh, if, if, if you read through their working uh, conditions, uh, 
it is probably wouldn't look too much different from here, where we are now. Very spicy? <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, hello. Catch. <laughs> it's actually sticks. Yeah, but it's not exploding, yes. Boo. Sticky bomb? Uh, so far we're having the locks, but if, if I can, yes, we know, we first need to get rid of these little jackets, and come on, the, the thing didn't even explode on them. Okay. Uh, lock on. Lock on. And again, I miss another. Wait, can we throw multiple? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> These don't actually return. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, beep. Uh. Okay. My oh, these are cores. Legion bomber. And another slag flea. Yeah. Oh. And yet still more are missed. Slag there. flea. Like, I'm surprised they don't call them imps, just call them flea. Fleas, basically. I, I was kind of surprised by that. Okay, that was three coins. Um, I'm not seeing anything else down there, so let's not jump down. Uh, oh, I do see this. But that's like okay, that's that's actually blocked by those things. Okay, that's that's pretty clever actually, since well, the horsemen are a bit too big to spit through those. Uh, except one, or yeah. one that you have. Yeah, the driver might fit. probably fit, but he he can't leave war behind, as much as war would like to be left behind. Uh, was that enough for whatever seal? No, it's still lit up. Oh, uh, two skulls of scroll holders. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I do gotta say, I, I like... Oh, hold on. I think I see what needs to be done. I like the design, and we can't double jump while carrying these. Yep, not dodging. Yep. Uh, blade it? Yeah, let's give that a shot after we dig in another one. Wait, why did it go there first? Okay, there we go, yeah. You sort of got it right in an awkward manner. And that's another one gone. Yeah, this area was visible in screenshots on Steam. So something is going to happen here. Uh, yeah, I, I like what they did with the with the decor. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, they're putting a lot of detail into it. And what the heck is this? Oh. Okay, it's more of a what was it now, but it was a freaking bat. A hell bat. Oh. Bomber and flea. Flea, uh, flea bat mag. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? What did he just do to that one? <laughs> he just fucking punched them. <laughs> uh. I, I think it's more meant to be stomping, but the, the, the models go ragged up and go flying off. So I'm going to call that a punt. <laughs> I think that was a pun for the way it screamed as you kicked him into the air. It actually looked like you just kicked him. 
All right. Okay, I, I had some worries about this game, but yeah, definitely uh, unfounded. Oh, what, what was the worries? Uh, that it might be uh, too different or... Oh, hello. Well, it is very Dark, dark Souls. Um, oh, it. Wrong game. Yeah. It's still very... This... Yep. This honest, <laughs> really. to win. <laughs> I know okay. who, what... I think we know what character he plays in League of Legends. Oh, um, and we get a taste uh, of our medicine. Go. Right. No, you're gonna try and say the game for the third time. We're gonna get this right. Dark Siders. There we go. It's still, it may look like it should play like a Diablo, but it plays like Dark Siders still. Just in a different viewpoint. Yeah. With uh, the combat being a bit more different. Uh, wait, did, did the last one manage to kill themselves with a bomb or something there? Maybe? Hmm. Either way, we got our stuff. We got a shortcut. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shortcut down, down to hell. I heard of the song Highway to Hell. So was this a short drop to hell? Yeah. Okay. One more sigil, and then I get the feeling we'll probably be facing a do uh, not, not a dog fight. We fought dogs already. A boss fight. <laughs> there we go. Let's completely blindsight that thing. Now, oh, come on. Yep, yep. More. We have wings, use them. Okay, let's uh, strive take over then if you're going to be ops. Yep. Okay. Uh Alright, the game decided to have mercy on us, but okay, you could make the you could make landing on those things a little bit easier. <laughs> and that's what I was hearing. Okay, 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 that's actually that sounds like they are actually supposed to be moving faster. Okay, I was wondering what the heck are you talking about with as I had to turn around <laughs> to uh, blow my nose. And let's go to early. Now, can we? Yes, we can just harass them from over here. <laughs> they can't do shit about it. Okay, just being a cheap little douchebag here for a bit. And that's about enough. No, no. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting these ammo pickups more than plenty. And okay, just a heal box. Oh, okay, so any extras that we pick up do go to the other rider. If... Uh, the one we're playing as, the one we're controlling actively, <clears throat> yeah, is at full health. That's a good mechanic. Um, let's see, ghost hook. Okay, there we go. Uh, not back there, let's <laughs> try. Okay. So that's how we use that ghost hook. Does War also have that? No, he has his he has his frisbee. Hmm. How do we take okay, oh we stay stationary so we can just throw it at I was trying to aim, but uh, yeah. 
Okay. That also provides a shortcut. And up we go. Last of the seals. Okay, now what is going to... Oh, that one reactivated. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, something big is going to be defending this. Hmm. Now, where... Actually... Can we just... There's no line moving away from it. Yeah, we can't just deactivate this one, but let's... Uh, Let's give Dirkir a minute to return whilst I read I'm, out. I'm return. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> I'd returned a moment ago. Uh, I, I was, I was going to read a bit of uh, Bill Lamar's uh, international movie database page, and apparently he's also an actor and comedian. Which, well, <laughs> we've already seen how well that's working for him in this game. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hello, big boy. Uh, I don't want to be sexist, but uh, is he coming out or is... Well, it. I'm, going, I'm not going to make assumptions here. Uh, is it coming at us with a... <laughs> What is, how do you call these things again, actually? A, a dope in? <laughs> uh, it looks like a battering ram to me. You want a cannon? Uh, the, 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 I'm, I'm thinking the things uh, you, uh, you, that bakers use to flatten the dough. <laughs> it looks like that to me. A rolling pin? A rolling pin, yeah. Uh, he's seriously coming at us with a demonic rolling pin. I want to show you sexist with that, since many bakers use them. Yeah, but uh, you know the stereo. Uh, typically, when it's. Well, often it's uh, women that get uh, portrayed with rolling pins. Oh, you innocent child. Chefs use them, the bakers use them too. Yeah, I know, but in, in media and such. Yeah, that's what I mean. I see many bakers in cartoons use them in anger. Yeah. Let's pick that up. <laughs> I can't take this thing seriously with this demonic rolling pin. It is taking a, uh, quite a beating, though. Luckily, it's only the little, yeah, extras that spawn in, and nothing of an actual threat. And he's just dying the crossfire. Dude, I don't think about it. I haven't seen rolling pin being used as a weapon in a damn long time. Really, I did not expect to see a demon use one. Yeah. And ow. Uh, yeah, let's try and keep our distance with this one here. Uh, I'd rather not and <laughs> have my bones end up in a pastry. I don't question your cooking, just uh, your choice of ingredients. And it's also, you're not supposed to let the bread burn, dude. Not so troubling now. And here I thought you were warming up to the place. <sighs> I know that your humor escapes me. All humor escapes you. 
<laughs> okay, what was that? Ah, oh, yes. Slag Demon Core Dashing has a 25% chance to leave behind a lava trail, dealing very light damage based on wrath power over 5 seconds. Alright. Ooh. So now we get what the other ones would do. If you gather enough of them, they'll give you a special power up. Yep. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just going to make... I'm just going to say this and be, be a bit of a dick for a moment, but... Uh, uh, you could, you, you could probably call this between uh, demon, uh, <laughs> Rolling Pin Demon and Volgrim a bit of a domestic dispute, because... It's just a stupid stereotype of, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> rolling pins being used as weapons against husbands or such. <laughs> Wonder what this thing's really worth to that soul-sucking ghoul. We could convince Volgrim to throw in a little extra. The artifact in exchange for information. We will honor our agreement. Man, he should be leading us by the hand right to Lucifer's doorstep. Let us return to Vulgrim, then. For his sake, I hope we find his generosity greatly improved. Oh, and we can just jump straight out. Okay. The horsemen have recovered Vulgrim's mysterious artifact and returned to the void, hoping to gain more information about Lucifer. Seriously, I can't take it. <laughs> Demonic rolling pin! Demonic fucking rolling pin. Uh. Yes, I'm immature. Deal with it. Uh. I, I can say this. In my family, we had we maybe still have a very unique rolling pin made of marble. Okay. I think it cracked at one point, but still. If you ever see someone get ready to hit you with a marble uh, rolling pin, get ready to run. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Give it to your horseman. You're yeah, really excited over a shiny rock, Volgrim. But to each his own. <laughs> a shiny rock, is it? Okay, I think definitely it's the uh, voice, the original voice actor back again. I. I I'm still need to check if he was uh, he voiced Volgrim the, the last time. Because he just sounded a bit off. But yeah, this sounds like a original Volgrim to me. Look closer. Oh, Ooh, but... finally some room to stretch my legs. Oh, what are you all looking at? Oh, so it was a domestic dispute, uh, but it was his wife that got stolen. Holy! <laughs> um, did not expect that. Uh, look, let's take a moment and look at the shapes. This feels like something from Courage, the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> oh! Volgrim, you're alive. Looks like our arrangement still stands. And I like her already, because everyone who dislikes Volgrim is liked by us. <laughs> is this how you treat all your business associates? Noted. Oh, I think it actually skipped something there. None of this matters. We must find Lucifer. What do you know, Volgrim? Yeah, I think it skipped one of Volgrim's lines there. Okay. That okay. What do you want with that piece of work? A famous comment over uh, her being a crystal, perhaps. All things are connected, Horseman. This was captured while seeking an item of great importance to Lucifer. She is duty bound to me. Mm, that's one way to put it. What is this item Lucifer seeks? It's called the Ember Core. Contains the power of a thousand suns. The usual stuff to get a demon all hot and bothered. So I'm guessing it would throw a wrench in Lucifer's plans if we got to it first. 
<laughs> I'd say that's a good bit. Okay, good voice actor. We'll have to I look recognize the voice actor. Hmm? Oh. Uh, wait. My memory might be wrong here, but if I recognize the voice, the voice actress almost look like the demon. Sort of. <laughs> okay. That's another two. Do I don't think, then. Do I don't think her hips are that thick. <laughs> Uh, not unless he swallowed uh, half of a giant hourglass. Anything that gets us closer to the deceiver is worth pursuing. The Ember Core is housed in a demonic forge called the Inferno Vault. But recovering it shouldn't be a problem for two mighty horsemen. Save us your flattery, demon. Just open the way. Oh dear. To be a most auspicious relationship. <laughs> oh. New items are available at these. Wait. Yep. Is <laughs> okay. she his shop uh, store sh assistant? Yeah, from the looks of it, yeah. Question is where has she set up shop? And, oh, all this time we could have just gone up the stairs here. I'm very curious of her, for that personality is hard to dislike. And her design actually looks damn good. Yeah. And I guess it is a case of she used to vibrate with personality. Yeah. There we go. And that's okay, not so innuendo. Okay, so this is her on the floor. I think. Uh, I don't think that's her. Yeah, four One. arms, two legs. Uh, uh, no, the horns don't match up. Okay. And uh, the one with really? looks a bit more skinnier. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's <laughs> horns. <laughs> I think Volgrim might be getting horn envy as well. <laughs> uh, let's oh, see. she has war arms. Yeah. She has well, four she, arms, she, and she has four arms. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> you can better... Uh, she looks like what people draw short stack ass. Uh, except you enlarged them. Yeah. I, do, I do like the design. It's a bit more unique, and again, you just look at the face. A lot of personality there. Wait. Hold on here. From, I, I, I pulled up... Uh, IMDB on my you know, phone here, and if this is right, uh, let me double check this, or let me compare this then. Uh, Dark side is Genesis. If this is true, then this might explain why Volgrim tends to be so funny <laughs> all the time as well. Okay, uh, just check the crew list here as well. Let's oh dear, I think you just missed something again. Okay. Um, we have a case of talking to themselves here. Bill Lamar also Wait, voices what? Volgrim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Though, no, don't tell that. Oh, she's doing it again. She's just flirting with you. Though, apparently. Hmm. Okay. Uh, or not, apparently. Uh, Lima O'Brien is still voicing War, but for this game it seems that Chris J. Alex uh, is voicing Strife, and not Phil Lamar like in the previous game. That's odd, but then again, Strife was, uh, well, posing. <laughs> anyway, let's see. So we can and who's buy... Voice acting, who's voice acting her? Who's voice acting this? Uh, Kimberly Herbert, uh, last name is hidden away. Okay, Kimberly Herbert Gregory. And let's have a look at other names. Uh, come on, stupid thing, scroll. Don't sh don't bother me with your freaking ads. Let's see other roles. Um, anything I recognize here? No, no, nope. Um, yeah, Dark Side is Genesis, and 
I'm... Yeah, I'm not recognizing anything else here on the list. I think I recognize... I hmm. think she's a comedian, though. I might mix it up people here. It, let's be face people. There are many celebrities that some end up looking at like each other at times as well. Uh, she had a bit on Law and Order. But, yeah, nothing here that I personally recognize. Uh, though it seems to me mostly, if not entirely, uh, shows, uh, TV shows, live action. Hmm. All right. So she, she does have the personality or some uh, you may see on TV shows. Yeah. Oh, hello. Synergy Ultimate Meteor. War crashes down, dealing damage in a giant radius and knocking back enemies. Requires full synergy meter. Hold A to briefly activate. Hold A briefly to activate. Okay. And let's see. Block counter after times block. Okay, we haven't seen anything about block yet, but let's get uh, this hard. Let's get the harpoon tackle. I don't even want to uh, know how you got these. Okay, maybe I do. <laughs> Uh, flip saw, we did that move plenty of times. Whirlwind slash. Uh, yeah, let's. Those boatman's coins are pretty rare. Where'd you find them? Honey, I, mean, I the know place. the voice. I think I've seen her in several shows, and maybe some movies. And I, I think I recall her. She has always been just maybe straight up hilarious. My freedom back. A girl can dream. That's <laughs> okay. yeah, good voice. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Let's save actually, up most actually, of these so far. Actually, when Echo's voice sort of soothing. Not oh. true, but she is uh, playing some sort of demon slash succubus, so it's fitting <laughs> uh, to lure you oh. into his <laughs> into his. If I remember, if I know, if she is. She is. I who I think she is. That's how she behaves normally. Okay. Uh, let's so, see. Anything at the top here? Have, uh, it is a case of you may have found the perfect voice actress for the perfect character. <laughs> okay. Um, doesn't say much about her here. At least just says uh, born here and here and is an actress. So, okay. Hmm. This... This could be her first time voice acting, then. Uh, I'm sure. I think I heard her in other shows. Or, uh, wait. I might have heard her on Age Age as well. Oh, wait. Is she Granny? Uh, we'll have to check that later. For now, we have still some time left. Uh, Inferno Vault. Hoping to disrupt the plans of Lucifer, the horsemen seek the Amber Core housed in the Inferno Vault. I think we've had dealt with Inferno... No, not with Amber Cores before in one of the previous games. I'm not entirely sure. Nor am I. The Inferno Vault. It can only exist to forge weapons that stand against the forces of heaven and to tear down the work of the Makers. So how about we do some tearing down of our own? Our priority is recovering the Ember Core. Hey, uh, World um, War, still with that sword, still shoved right up his ass. Sure, um, why not have some fun along the way? Uh, notice something on here? Snow in hell. Hell has frozen over. Yep. <laughs> Do you know what it means? Uh, free ice cream. But that and I get your motorcycle. <laughs> oh, hello. What's this? Collect. Oh, collect all the ingots. All right. Uh, some extra souls for sales. Hmm. Okay. I get, I get a good feeling that this is going to end up backstabbing 
will give me in a hilarious way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and we just sent uh, an imp or whatever into orbit. <laughs> Freaking football. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we need a certain amount of these things for them to activate. And hello, free boatman coin. Okay. Left trigger to lean away. And there we go. Now then, hello. Yeah, you are a wizard. <laughs> you are a wizard, smaller Hagrid. Hello. Um, when was the last time you watched Harry Potter? Uh, pretty long ago. But that's, Same, but even that's I... the reason why. I'm that's why I'm quoting it wrong, on purpose. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure Hagrid is all oh, from being a twig. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said small Hagrid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yank him by their fucking tail. Uh. Okay, mm. Ward, punt these little bastards into heaven for me, William. Yep, if you can get up there. Yep. <laughs> okay, it isn't exactly a punt, but it's still a kick. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. Uh, yeah, this game is a. Uh, I'd, I'd set my expectations low, just in case, but this game is uh, pretty much exceeding them plentiful. Yeah, when it comes to games and movies and series, I try to be somewhere in the middle. But like, there are only few ones I get hyped over, but even then I try to be call my hype to not be too overhyped. For I know that if you overhype yourself, then there's a big risk of you getting grumpy if you're not, yeah. not leading up to your height. So, it's good to be excited. Just careful with it. Yeah, a good way to ensure that uh, you'll go underneath the bar is to set it too high. Pay the price. <laughs> and these are demonic mages. We couldn't. You couldn't come up with a better name, like a demon chinchillas or something with the freaking tail. And, and, for, the way they were sitting there, I thought, wait, are those monks? So I was speaking like demonic monks, but no, no. Apparently they're magus. Brother, the fiery ambition of demons looking to upset the balance. This is why we fight. But what about Vogram? isn't helping him gonna upset the scales. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want the Ember Core for decoration. We need his information. Whatever Lucifer is planning, it goes far beyond Vulgrim and his schemes. The Council wouldn't be too happy if they knew we were trading dangerous artifacts for information. We do what we must, a mission. If Vulgrim has ambitions of his own, then he too will be dealt with. War, relax. I'm messing with you. Let's wrap this up before my skin melts off. <laughs> oh, collect 50 boat coins. We got 20 so far. <laughs> All right. Open that up. Not fully at Okay, now we're at full pa uh, <laughs> full health again. Uh, 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 come on. And that's one. Uh, wait, did they just did they just friendly fire? 
<laughs> okay. Maybe a bloody happy. I think there's some quite the force in that gun. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Oh, hello. Knock, knock. There are some ammunitions that are extremely powerful that are actually banned world uh, worldwide, I think. Due to yeah. how... Uh, okay, here's an example. For those that have seen Kill Bill during the anime bit, where someone shoots a, a revolver or pistol and it shoots, suddenly blows up an entire leg, that's an actual ammunition, and that's what is banned. Uh, either yes. explosive rounds or dum dum rounds. No, uh, very way. explosive. Like if I shoot you in the knee, your entire leg and thigh is is gone. Yeah. And um, yeah, dum dum is just a, an old term, but uh, the modern one would be a hollow point rounds. And. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are illegal in most places, or, well... Actually, I think they're only allowed for military use, I think. Or even then. Not even for me. I think they're even banned for military use. Hmm. Like, the only ones that might try to use it are probably gangs. Like, very bad, they're really high up gangs. You know, makes you question then why is the production of those not made illegal? Uh, probably, probably stole them. Do a few of the ones were, that were made, perhaps, or they have some means uh, for people figure out how to make them illegally. Hmm. I, I may have to look at that one. I don't only know that it's like if you are probably found. Like, if you're a civilian and have those bullets, you'd probably be facing Yale for they are not to be toyed with. Yeah. Again, they are banned for a reason for being extremely... <laughs> basically overkill of a bullet. And War gets out to play again. Okay, I want to see what... I want to see what the Strife's anime uh, execution for these things is. Okay, just weaken them enough, and Strife is already back. Uh, ah, there you are. Remind me I said it ran off. <laughs> just shucks them and use them for target practice. Uh, should I have expected anything else? Okay, got a map. Okay, so we pulled us up with that. Uh, um, I just remember something. I maybe said this before, but there's another bullet. I think we've mentioned it in one of the Space Marine episodes that there is a... or was a actual rocket pistol. They shot miniature rockets. Okay. Ow. Some of them were, I think, actually made in World War II. Though they. There's a race that did not see wide range use due to. But yes, they could be used and they will hit hard. Problem is, they were basically breaking the pistol. Yeah. It's not going to be much use if you're going to leave yourself unarmed. Yeah, like, like it was either risk that it uh, broke at the first firing or of the few firing. <laughs> Strive, you show up. So, okay. Oh gosh, I've actually seen a video of the worst guns. Like there was someone during World War One or World War Two that made guns, and which which one? I forget name, but it was so horrible that. And it was pissed, it was so horrible that after shooting once, that there was a report of one, uh, so few that shot it once, that it collapsed all together. Uh, by collapse, I mean it just fell apart every piece. There we this go. is just an embarrassment. Uh, that's reminding me of something I saw. Oh, enter dungeon. 
Is this optional or is this where we're supposed to go? The kiln. Okay, we were supposed to find this, I think. Uh, God yeah. Damn, it is hot in here. Bias is fucking up. One of the many reasons I choose not to hide behind a ridiculous mask. Wait, that's not a mask? <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. Uh, <laughs> strive. Stop teasing your brother. <laughs> He's going to kick your ass. Oh. But yeah, as I was saying, something I saw uh, a few days ago, I think, was a screenshot from uh, that uh, latest Call of Duty. I think I think it was Vanguard, the one that's almost oh, oh, almost abandoned already or something. Uh, whoever whoever was in charge of assigning attachments to weapons did not pay attention, I think. Uh, because you could put a, for one example, you could put a scope on a, on guns that had the, the magazine on top of the gun. So yeah, you had a, oh, ah. You'd have a gun with a scope looking straight into, well, the magazine. That's, and other stupid um... stuff was, uh, you know, you know that uh, rifle that goes ping? Ping! Yeah. yeah. I think it's the M1 Garand. Uh, could be wrong with that. But basically, it's a, it's a clip. No, not really. Uh, it was a rifle, a bit, a bit of the predecessor of or of magazine uh, fire fed, uh, guns. Uh, okay, if you're just going to stand there and take it. <clears throat> Uh, basically, it was loaded. Sev it had these little rails of bullets that you would uh, attach to the top, and then you could shove them all in one uh, in one go. And yeah, then just remove the rail and toss that aside, and it'd be ready to fire. And uh, that likely evolved into the uh, magazines on weapons you see nowadays. Uh, but the stupid thing they did with that—one of many stupid things. Was they put a fucking drum magazine on it, on the wrong sides, and there's still something alive somewhere. Yeah, I not heard much good from that game. I, I know that one of the writers, Vanguard is, was also is also the writer of the remake of uh, Knights of the Old Republic, I think. Oh, if that's the Which case, it's worrying. Yeah, many are worried for. I checked it on Twitter actually for just to see if people were faking it, and I saw many of them I saw on YouTube are not there, but there were some that maybe wonder wait, are they or are they not extreme left? Mm. And as I said before, before, I don't like SJWs, nor do I like anti SJWs. They are both the. Oh, hello. Yeah, extreme side. Of things and they just both sides miss their point of things. Yeah. Okay, now are you going but, to yeah. freaking open up or not? Oh great. But yeah, I I I yeah, know a friend uh, was hyped and when I told him the same right was for Vanguard he got extremely worried. And I will not blame him. Yeah. Uh, uh, is the game glitched or something? Because I'm pretty sure it's telling us to kill this thing, but it's refusing to let me kill this thing. Or is there an imp somewhere stuck or something? Hmm. Wait, there's or, a blue thing over there. Yeah, that's one of those hover balls that we use for, well... That. Wait, I heard something over there. Are you sure that's not the sound of the flowering? Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I guess it was the wings. I thought I heard one of the small little bastards here, but no, it was just the wings. And we've got one of those trickster keys now. It's likely for the well, the very obviously named trickster doors. Uh, 
yeah, something is wrong here. Did, I think we managed to glitch the game out a bit. Uh, oh. No, the game glitched itself out by getting a dog stuck and... <laughs> okay, bad dog. <laughs> there we go. Hey, people. Alien is a cat person. Okay, let's go back to Strife. Oh. Okay, we do not want to be close to those things when they tip. And... Okay, we turned on the place. What is that going to do now? We Okay, we can't walk on that even though it seems relatively cool. Uh, map. Uh, uh, yes. We forget. I do hope uh, the Knights of the Old Ball Cobbler will go well, despite the failure of Vanguard. If it is true, it's the same writer. I don't know if she really is extreme left or not. For faking Twitter mail is possible. But still, I just hope it will be good. Yeah. For yeah, only time I will be, tell. I may not be, yeah, I may not be not a Star Wars fan, but that doesn't mean I want uh, it to go bad. I want it's an old franchise that deserves respect, and I do respect it, yeah. and I feel like it should be treated with respect. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, not like EA did with all the microtransaction bullshit. Yeah, that's a good example. I'm glad that Lucas Art are back in the game. No, no, no. Uh, Almost jumped the wrong way. And what the heck? And suddenly it's uh, Prince of Darksiders. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not uh, co cool playing with you on this one. I, yeah, I would not be able to handle this. Oh, 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 oh. We even designed this place to work like this. <laughs> oh, there. Okay, what's the lava for? Is uh... fun you were hoping for, brother? Oh yeah, I'm having the time of my life over here. Yep, miss. Okay, missed that. We were supposed to wait, so now we're part what? of the. Oh. Okay, that's a bit. No, oh, it puts us back here. Oh well, easy enough. Oh dear. And um, I'm hoping we'll be able to save in the middle of missions because we have about five minutes left. Uh oh. Come on, go. There we go. Okay, up and run. No, it's not actually that fast. It's not coming fast, drive. Okay, one, two, three. It's the kind of fun you were hoping for, brother. Oh, yeah. I'm having the time of my life over here. And then this one. Hmm. Yep. Strife. Almost clear. Come on, that feels so cool. Okay, one more try should be enough. Okay. Twenty tries later. I think I made a wrong accent there. Yeah. Okay. Why are you refusing to turn at that point? Is, is there something in the way or something? Oh well. The way that will jump to confirm it. Okay. What the heck? 
Yeah, he... <laughs> we missed. Okay, just keep at it. Yeah, sometimes oh. platforming sections like this can get pretty annoying. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of platforming. Even as I say this, I didn't get into computer games as such until I found Warcraft 2 on PC. Okay. Otherwise, I just watch my mother play Nintendo. And my brothers. I, I did play Nintendo, but not much. Uh, wait, I just asked. Oh hmm? dear. Right, I was saying, I did play Nintendo, just not as much as my brothers and my mother and my father. Okay, there we go. That should put a checkpoint down, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, and who's that down there, huh, then, huh? Is that a cannon? Or a rolling pin? No, 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 <laughs> no. Not, not a rolling pin. Hmm. And I think uh, I know what the lava is for. What then? I... Well, you, you know you use coal, wood and such to have enough heat to melt metal? Yeah. It, it's for, well, the smelting process, obviously. Yeah, it should probably be hot enough to... prepare whatever the demons uh, melt for as a weapon. Cool. Hello, and you are... carrying a big gun. <laughs> okay. Legion Bolt Splitter. Oh. Splitter, not splitter, but no. Sp <laughs> splitter, splitter, <laughs> it's spit. <laughs> we do not want to be at the wrong end of that thing. Oh, I think I know what it is. Um, no, it, it's not this thing that we had used as uh, death because that was an angelic weapon. But it could oh, be I know their that. version. Oh, well, no, that was mean. I think it's uh, their version of a minigun. Yeah. <laughs> with, <laughs> Very clear. With the um, grenade launcher. Uh, ow. Okay, he. Oh, hello. That left behind an after image of sorts. Okay, I'm out. Yep, I'm stuck on something. Heal. Oh, never mind. Just a second too late. Okay, war. Time to go on the war path. Uh, don't think that's part of their diet. Or at least not. A good diet for them. Wait. Does that mean they're shooting molten lead on at you? Good chance. Okay, yeah, that leaves an after image. I couldn't see before because it's a bit hazy. Almost see through. The potion use. Why would we sit still if you want to shoot us? Oop. Thank you. Okay, for that last phase of him spinning that thing up, we'd want to be in cover. Because he tracks us really quick then. You're stupid dogs. There's drive goes again. So his more tankier brother can take over. And... Oh, hello. 
Okay, straight to the point, <laughs> or the brain in this case. And oh, you don't keep the gun. <laughs> okay, 5% extra health, that's always nice. Nice. And you're going to have a bad day. There we go. All right. Um, what were? We, oh yeah, the Ember Core. <laughs> That's what we were here for. I don't, forgot them. <laughs> okay, let's grab this thing and be off. This must be the Ember Core D spoke of. I guess one of us should grab it. <sighs> Would you like me to do it? Hey. I'll watch yeah, you've got a lot more mass to burn through in case it sets you alight. Ah, I knew it! Level collapse! Wait for enemies! <laughs> okay, apparently Strife is a gamer. We've already killed everything. Didn't I tell you this was gonna be fun? Okay. The horsemen have obtained the Ember Core and returned to the voids. Okay, yeah, I I'm looking forward to this. And we're, we're making good progress so far. Three chapters, or was that number? Uh, I'll need to double check. Yeah. Three chapters. Yeah. In one stream, uh, I've heard that there are at the very least uh, 15 chapters because of some really come on stupid hmm? update driver again. I thought I disabled those pop ups again. Well, we normally done with the stream by now, so uh, yeah, uh, let's see there. I'm not seeing an yeah, I'm not seeing a manual way to save, so I'm presuming it just saves at any point that we change stuff. Um, we'll just have to see how that goes. <clears throat> but, oh, this will be yeah. saved. <laughs> okay. I I'm not. I'm liking this a, a lot. Like I had my I had my annoyances with Dark Souls 3 because of its uh, more Dark Souls leaning stuff. Uh, th this is this is quick and easy fun, and well, <laughs> stripe and <laughs> war bantering. <laughs> yeah, it, this is nice. Especially we get to see we get to see how a uh, someone that's very different from the others, and let's as well see a bit more sides of war. Yeah, though it might open up a a small thing. Um, I don't remember how War reacted to Volgrim when they met in Dark Shadows 1, but this would this game would tell that they already knew each other. Uh, but that's not a re that's not really a big thing. Well, he was a bit having a bit of a headache <laughs> when he met Volgrim again. So yeah. Do I think Hmm. Yeah, I think he he knew Volgrim back then. Uh, yeah, he he knew a Volgrim. Uh, we could have assumed back then that he knew him by reputation or something. But yeah, this explains how they met, or how they knew each other. Yeah. Hmm. It's resolved. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to playing more of this, and we'll see how long it lasts. Actually, I after this I'll take a look at uh, how long to beat. To get a bit of a guess, so I can prepare on the next batch of uh, games to stream, which will be older games again, uh, particularly games that uh, I played a lot while I while I grew up. So, yeah, there <laughs> I'll have to see if they they will actually work. Uh, one of them should, at the very least, still work because it is a very stable game, or at least it was very back then. The other two might need some more tinkering. But we'll just have to see that when we get to that. 
because yeah, we're still getting a few more streams out of this at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Thursday more at Dark Side of Genesis, and yeah, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you as always, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, uh, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks! <laughs>